We all like good equipment. This is my spotting scope stand, which is an excellent, good, good quality stand, but I had a couple of problems with it when I first uh, got it, so it's become through an evolution, which I'm going to talk you through. The problem with this stand as it was at the beginning is that the telescope fixes on here at a fixed angle, not the right angle for your eye. Also, it's a friction fit. And when you try and adjust it, it, it over adjusts because it's too far, too far back, back the way. So I wanted to do two things. First of all, get the telescope at the right angle for my eye. And secondly, allow it to adjust finely to get onto the, onto the target. So, I went to my friend Neville, who produced this with uh, Neville's magnificent contraption to give me what I wanted. You can see the telescope's at the right angle for my eye. It's an adjustment sideways, which we'll have a closer look at in a moment, and up and down. So, sideways, and up and down. So you just need to roughly line it up and then adjust it to right down to the target. Brilliant. One problem though, the gross adjustment is on this big handle here. Now when you go to adjust it, from this right up and down like this, it tends to fall off there. So back to the drawing board. So, Mark III, with the addition of this simple collar, all you need to do is reassemble it. Adjust the height on this part rather than here, and have it at a fixed height. So fair that is the height. Then you can loosen this off to enough to adjust this, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't fall off the bottom. So that's Mark Three. Now this is fixed. It's stable. Now, next problem. When you pick it up, the legs do this, which is the pain. So, uh, Mark 4 involves the addition of some bungee cord to a few holes, which I'll put on and uh, show you in a second. You just fit it, you pick it up, and the legs stay more as well as they should be. So, excellent. Well, there's another problem. You see it's nice and stable on the short grass here. If you're on a firing point with long grass, it tends to fall over that way. So, mark five. With the addition of this little lug here, with a hole in it, and a six inch nail with a handle, We get Mark 5, which, as you can see, doesn't fall over. One final thing, or maybe it's not the final thing, I always wanted to be able to use it sitting down for wind coaching and such like, and you can't do that, of course, when it's so low. So, Mark 6 coming up. 6 and counting, perhaps. This allows me to Look through the telescope, keep score, wind coat, perfect for the, the final part of the, uh, or not so final part of the modification process. Thanks to Neville for this magnificent construction which started it all off, and uh, here's to the evolution of my scope stand, and the next time.